Come on, come on, come on, girl, come on. Good girl, Franny. I know it's cold. We're almost there. Welcome back to Better Philly. I'm Damian Musiani, helping out Paulus today by taking beautiful little Franny here for a walk. Let's go inside where it's warm. Now we're back where it's warm. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Franny. Hi, Hi Melissa. How Hi, are you? Hi, How good are you? Nice to see you. Franny was just wonderful out on the yeah, leash. Yeah, she's a good girl. She is a great girl. <laughs> now, she's a pit bull mix, right? Yep. We think she's mixed with Boxer. She's a wonderful, and she's wonderful beautiful. sweet dog. Yep, she's and she's up for adoption here. She is. She's living here until we find her just the right home. Um, we, she's very... <laughs> she loves attention. That's so, great. Well, I hope we yeah. find her a home really soon. Yeah, we're working on it. And you know what's uh, interesting about Paws is We've always associated with being a dog shelter, animal shelter, but you yep. have a lot of cats here as well. Absolutely. When we come see you in the studio, we bring dogs because they're a little bit more, uh, you know, more amenable to, mm -hmm. you know, to those situations. But we have lots of cats who live here and who are waiting to meet adopters. So, do you want to introduce us to a couple? Sure, them? absolutely. Lead the way. All right. This is one of our cat rooms here at the adoption center where mm -hmm. we um, bring cats in and let them sort of hang out and get comfortable and let adopters come in and get to know them. This is that's, where they live until they get adopted. That's great. And who's this cute little guy? This is Elliot. He's uh, one of the cats that we have living in one of our uh, our cat rooms here at the Adoption Center. They live in a little community and people uh -huh. who are interested in adopting can come in, spend some time with them, get to know them and make a good decision. And I think adopting an animal in some ways, some people are under the false impression that there's a lot of red tape involved and that it's too much of a hassle to do it. But it's yeah. really very simple. We try to keep the process as simple as, as we possibly can. We want to know your experience with pets. We want to know what your lifestyle is like, what your home mm -hmm. life is like, so that we can help you make a great match and bring an animal into your home that's going to be a great fit. But we want to make it easy because we're in the business of saving lives. And the more animals we can send home into great homes, the more animals we can rescue. Yes. And for those who can't go home with their new pet, but they want to help out in some way, yep. they're just not able to adopt an animal, yep. there's other ways to help out. You have a big fundraiser coming up. Um, the event we have coming up is on February 13th. It's called Puppy Love. It's a Valentine's party, mm -hmm. and uh, people are encouraged to bring their dogs. It's a lot of fun. There's great food and music and um, contests for the dogs and all sorts of great stuff. I think you have another little puppy called Coke and the Cream that wants to go for a walk. <laughs> yes, we do. We do. They love to get outside. We really depend on volunteers to help us take care of the animals, take dogs for walks, clean cages. So if you'd like to take another dog for a walk, we'd love to help. That sounds great. Lead yeah. the way. All right. All right, Coconut Cream, you ready to take your walk? All right. There you go, Damien. It's all yours. Thanks, Melissa. You know what we taught you? Absolutely. Good job. Come on, Coconut Cream. Let's Have go. Bye-bye. Well, we're going to go for a walk. I'm Damien Musiani outside of Paws at 2nd and Arch. And Better Philly will be right back. Come on, girl.